Welcome to the Pomerol Partners Scenario Analysis and Modeling Application for the Pharmaceutical Industry. This application was developed in conjunction with a Tier 1 Pharma client to address a number of key business challenges. Firstly, sales teams needed a clean and visually intuitive way to identify the current status and future potential of individual sales accounts. Excessive time was being spent trying to derive these answers from Excel reports, however the final outputs were of little value due to their complexity and static nature. Secondly, the business users needed a tool to model both price and market share changes and forecast the impact of these changes on future revenue. The third and biggest challenge of all was a general inability to merge the necessary data sources required to deliver these much needed insights. In providing a solution, we've leveraged the powerful ETL functionality and in-memory associative nature of ClipView. These two features let us toggle between our selections and reveal insights and relationships at the pace of business. So let's jump into the application and see how it works. With a website-inspired user interface, our pages and key selections are along the top and hierarchical selections within pop-outs on the left margin. We now need to select a time period for analysis, and this brings us to the dual calendar setup, which is an incredibly powerful feature unique to Pomerol Partners. The current calendar allows us to select a date or date range to filter the entire data set by. The prior calendar below allows us to select a specific date for comparison and drives our delta changes next to the KPIs. The Boston Matrix chart is populated with bubbles, representing all the current sales accounts. The size of the bubble indicates the amount of revenue generated from that client, and the shade of color allocates an account size tag to the particular account based on last year's sales. An account manager in this case has two main ways of generating more revenue, by increasing their patient numbers or by claiming more market share and the chart below gives us a clear visual representation of these two opportunities. The y-axis is our potential patient indicator. This is a suggested level of demand assessed by taking the current number of patients and correlating this with the known incidence of the particular condition the relevant product is treating. A positive number here suggests potential for growth. A negative number suggests a more mature market. On the x-axis, we have the current market share for these individual accounts. We can see our large stable accounts congregated in this area. These accounts are mature and valuable, but have less potential for growth. And this suggests we should take a more defensive approach. We should look to maintain our business as opposed to chasing down new sales. The accounts congregated around this area contribute smaller revenue they have a positive indication for future growth. We should take a more aggressive approach to these accounts, especially the ones to the left where we have a smaller current market share. The sales manager for this team, Teresa, has set a market share target for her team of 45%. And in the table below, we can see a breakdown by account as to the potential revenue that lies within this market share target for each account. However, based on current performance and forthcoming market conditions, Teresa may wish to alter this market share target for her team. By moving the target slider, we can instantly see the effect this has on an account by account basis. To take this even one step further, Teresa has the ability to model these changes for an individual sales rep. In planning sales strategy for Ellen's territory, we can select a single bucket of clients set a specific target for this type of client and work out exactly who to target first. In this case, they settle on a market share target of 50% and can instantly see that the Bart's Health account should be the first target. With market share targets in place for individual accounts, the sales planning can now move to modeling price adjustments. Let's look at another one of Teresa's sales reps and all the accounts that purchase product three through the NHS sales channel. Carl has identified potential growth amongst his grade C accounts, and with a good knowledge of his competition, he thinks he can gain an average 5% market share by dropping his price by 8% to beat his competitors. 
Carl can simulate movements and see the direct effect on his current accounts. He can instantly identify the accounts where this price reduction strategy may have the most benefit. With Click's associated functionality, sales reps can explore their data and begin to understand their markets like never before. From a high level assessment right down to a small price movement for a single product on an individual account, clear and targeted sales strategy planning has never been so easy. So that's scenario analysis for pharmaceutical sales by Pomerol Partners. For more information or to request an on-site demo, click through the provided link to our website or head direct to the Click Market where you can test drive and interact with this application for yourself.